Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day video. It has been so long since I last posted one of these. I looked back at my channel and I think it was like seven months since I last posted one, which seems crazy to me because I feel like I film these all the time, but apparently not. So that is what today's video is going to be. These are still one of my favourite videos to film and to watch. I am so nosy at what other people eat and also I just think it's a really good way to get meal inspiration and meal ideas so that is what I'm going to be doing today it's currently like half nine on a Sunday and I'm going to go make breakfast in a little bit so when I do I will share with you guys what I'm having apologies if you can hear the washing machine in the background I stupidly decided to put it on just before filming this clip and it is really noisy but this is what I'm having for breakfast this morning I've got two of these just roll croissants these are so good I made the packet up yesterday and these are the two that are left so I've just heated those up and then I'm going to have some butter, jam, marmalade and then I've also made myself a cup of tea to have with it. It is now a couple of hours later and I'm just about to have some lunch. I took out a couple of slices of bread from the freezer. My original plan was to have some avocado on toast because that's what I really fancy today but I don't have any avocados in so then plan B was to have beans on toast and it turns out I have no beans in either so I feel like that's very typical for a Sunday meal because I've run out of all the food that I fancy on a Sunday. I really need to go do a food shop but instead I have found this which looks really weird. This is homemade leek and potato soup that is currently frozen, so I'm going to defrost this. I will link the recipe down below for this, it's really good. I just swap out any of the non-vegan ingredients for like the vegan alternatives for like butter and cream and milk and things like that. So I'm going to put this in the microwave to defrost and then I'm going to toast this and have this on the side. <laughs> So this is what my final lunch looks like. The soup has gone a bit weird and like lumpy looking after I defrosted it. Not quite sure why that is because it was definitely smooth when I made it. So I feel like freezing it has done something weird, but it still tastes the same. So it's all good. And then I just added some salt and pepper on top and then I've just got my toast on the side. I am very much looking forward to eating this. It is so cold and so miserable outside and I feel like soup is the perfect lunch for a day like this. Please ignore all of the washing and everything hanging up behind me. My whole living room at the moment looks like a laundrette, so just ignore that. But I'm about to head into town to do some shopping. I'll probably end up getting a coffee or something while I'm out, so if I do, I'll film that. But I'm just deciding what I want for dinner, because whatever I want, I'm going to have to pick up the bits that I need for it in Asda while I'm in town. And I just can't work out what I fancy. I feel like normally I'm one of those people that decide what they're having for dinner at like 8am, because it's my favourite meal and it's like all I think about. But today, I just don't know what I'm in the mood for. And I think I might be popping to the gym after town, which means by the time I get home, it's going to be dinner time. I'm probably going to be starving and I'm probably not going to want to cook anything too complicated. So I feel like I need to take that into consideration with whatever I want for dinner as well. But I just can't decide. I really don't know what I'm in the mood for and I really need to work out quick. <laughs> so I don't know, hopefully something comes to me on my walk into town, but we will see what I end up having later. I am now back home from town and back home from the gym, hence why I look like this. I look and feel so gross right now, but while I was in town I went to a really cute cafe and I had a coffee. I got a vanilla oat milk latte, which I sort of regret getting. I don't normally get syrups in my coffee anymore, I like weaned myself off them, but this place did free syrups, so I was like, why the heck not, I'll get some vanilla syrup. I'm pretty sure like 50% of my drink was syrup. It was so sweet. It was like literally almost undrinkable. I didn't manage to finish it because at the end it was just like, getting so sickly and I was like, mm, this is too much sugar even for me. I then went to the gym and burnt off all of that extra energy and I'm now home and I'm very hungry. For dinner, I have decided on having burgers. I just figured I needed a dinner that I could just shove in the oven while I get in the shower. I'm not in the mood to cook anything fancy tonight. I feel like it's not a very good post-gym dinner, but 
I'm feeling it. I'm in the mood for burgers. So that is what I'm going to have. I picked up a few little bits in Asda that I didn't have in already. So I've got some burger buns, got some mustard because I love mustard and I'm out. I also got this cheese, which I tried for the first time the other day and I can't believe it's taken me so long to try this. It is so good. I would say one of my favorite vegan cheeses that I've tried. This is just Asda's mature cheddar alternative. And then I also got some jam. This is not going in my burger. That would be weird. Although I have seen it done before. This is just because I'm out of jam. So I'm going to start cooking now because I'm very hungry and I need to get in the shower. I've got these burgers from Tesco to cook. I'm going to put a couple of these in the oven. And then I'm just going to chop up some potatoes, I think, and shove that in the oven as well. And then that is going to be my dinner. Dinner is done. This burger looks absolutely mad. <laughs> Might have overdone it with the toppings just a tiny bit, but I feel like toppings really make a burger. So I kind of just went a little bit ham and shoved everything in there. It's got two of those Tesco burger patties with cheese on and then lettuce, onions and pickles with ketchup and mustard. Yeah, not quite sure how I'm gonna eat that. I feel like it's gonna be an absolute mess, but I am very excited for it. And then these chips are just some potatoes chopped up with some fajita seasoning on it. And this is my completed meal. I'm gonna add some ketchup and mustard to dip the chips in and I'm gonna dig in. I am so ready for this, even if the burger does look a little bit mental. Please excuse my appearance. My skin is a hot mess right now, but dinner has been demolished. It was so good. I'm surprisingly not that full. Like I thought I was gonna be stuffed after eating that, but I'm still feeling a little bit peckish. I feel like that is the beauty of vegan food. You can just eat so much more of it and not feel as full, I guess, because most of it for the like most part is less calories and like just less dense food in general. So still feeling a little bit peckish. So I've got some snacks to have this evening. I've got some of these Cadbury's Bourneville buttons, which are so good. They are so Moorish. So I'm gonna munch on a few of them. And then I've also got an apple because you know, balance. So these are gonna be the last couple of things that I eat this evening. So I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.